Welcome back. This is an in-depth chat about lactate tolerance training and the importance of that when it comes to building your Hyrox performance. And this is something that inside of our Hyrox Compete program, probably a little bit more than our Hyrox Perform program because those taking part in our Hyrox Compete program are looking at much more of an advanced progression with their performance being highly competitive. Um, so this is something that we touch on inside of that program and maximize our guys put progress really um, when it comes to their lactate tolerance. Now, why is lactate to to tolerance important for high rocks? Essentially, we're building a lot of lactate in high rocks. It's an event that is really going to demand from your lactic system, your glycogen system, but also your aerobic system as well. So, you know, if we only focus on aerobic growth and strength growth then we're kind of missing a big part in the middle um, which is where people really really fall short especially when they're preparing for their first race if they're looking to get more competitive if you're looking to get more competitive in high rocks then you need to have a higher lactic tolerance you also need to have a higher lactic threshold now these two things are very 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 different okay and it's really really important that we think about this now when it comes to our lactic development we want to really think about the difference between the two Lactic threshold is delaying acidosis in the muscle. So when you do your threshold training, um, you're, you're delaying this acidosis. So this could be like hill sprints. It could be, uh, you know, 600, 800 meter repeats, 1000 meter repeats with a, with a quite chunky recovery between to allow the body to recover and go again. Okay. But you're building the threshold here. You're, you're, you're being able to really delay the onset of acidosis in the muscles. Now, why do we really want to delay that acidosis in the muscles? Because in the presence of acidosis, which is basically where we have intra, um, cellular like, um, metabolism metabolites and things like that, we have impaired muscle function. So if, for example, we don't delay it and we get acidosis in the muscle, it's going to impair our, um, you know, our contraction inside of that muscle. So it's going to really, really diminish our ability to perform. If we look at the difference between threshold training and tolerance training, lactate tolerance is actually coping with acidosis, right? So it's not just delaying the onset, it's how we train our body to actually deal with the acidosis, okay? When we're training lactic tolerance, we wanna be thinking about less frequent, okay? This is gonna be really taxing on the body. So lactate tolerance training is essentially building the body into an acidosis state and then keeping it there so that it can really develop and create basically enzyme regulation so your body can tolerate more, uh, more acidosis. If the body can tolerate more acidosis, you're gonna be able to absolutely fly in high rocks, work at a faster pace, recover much quicker aerobically. Now, something you need to think about between the two, threshold training two to three times a week, okay? When you're working in building aerobic capacity and your, your lactate system. Tolerance training, I would only say once a week, okay? Again, because it's taxing, it takes a longer time to recover, and you're actually sending your body into acidosis and training it to remain there as long as possible. Now, when it comes to tolerance training, we want to think about um, actually incorporating more aerobic recovery. So workouts where you're challenging your lactate tolerance, you're actually wanting to push your body to acidosis and then recover aerobically. So it could be, you know, a slow bike or a slow jog or a slow row, anything aerobic. It could be on the ergs just to get your practice in for high rocks, but you're actually going to send your body into acidosis and then you're actually going to train the body to aerobically start flushing the lactate out so that you can then go into new sets where you're raising it again. Okay. Now they do not improve one another. So you've got to be really, really clear in your methodology of training, or if you've got a coach helping you, they will help you hopefully um, with the difference between the two and how to train for them. Because this one won't improve this one and this one won't improve this one. They have to be individualized focus for you to actually improve both of them. Okay. Um, what we want to be thinking about as well is making sure that we, you know, we want to delay the acidosis, but we also want to send our body into it because we're training the body to remove, um, you know, hydrogen ions from the muscles and stuff, which is while in the presence of hydrogen ions, um, we are in acidosis. And again, if you're in this for too long without being trained, then your muscle function is going to be impaired um, and you're going to slow down, you're going to weaken and you're going to essentially hit the red line, as I call it. OK, so you really want to be thinking about this. So less frequency on the tolerance training. Um, but more frequent on the threshold training. But when you combine the two really well, that's when we're going to have an absolute beauty of growth. Now, one thing you do need to really be careful of as well is overtraining. So something I am going to mention, and I do mention with all of my clients, 
is if you're doing three or four of this in a week and then two and three of this in a week, by three weeks, you're going to be absolutely burnt out, knackered. You're not going to recover. Like this, this here can take like three to five days to recover from a, a heavy tolerance session. Threshold sessions, you can recover a bit quicker, maybe like one to two days. Um, so it's really important that you get the strategy and the structure of this absolutely correct. As always, you know exactly where I am if you want any of this methodology taken care of for you essentially links are always below in the videos hit subscribe make sure you follow for more episodes of development of your high rocks training that is me with the science stuff out take care see you in your next season